Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on this little three stone bracelet and this is using that 14 by 10 millimeter um, Swarovski oval fancy stone which is such a great size because you know if you love your bling but you don't want like huge bling it's perfect. So that's what it looks like. Very pretty, very wearable. Um, I just love it. Here's the back. So all finished really nicely. Okay, all right, so um, I'm going to just clear this off. I'm going to get started right away. So don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> and ring the bell if you want to get notified when I upload a video. Thanks. Okay, let's get a materials list going. So you'll need three of the 14 by 10 millimeter Swarovski fancy stones, and they're in ovals, and these are gorgeous. So I didn't have three of the same color, so I just put these out. That's that scarlet color. Isn't that beautiful? Links below. <laughs> You'll need some either Delicas or Toho Ico beads. I'm using all Ico beads for my cylinder beads in this um, video. So um, I have two different colors because I'm doing an alternating color. Bezel, bezel 150 seed bead, 110 seed bead, 4 millimeter pearls, a few 3 millimeter pearls. You need a clasp. I'm using this filigree box clasp. I love these and I'll link down below where I where I, where you can purchase them. Um, and I just wanted to give you a little heads up on this. So I bought a whole bunch of these and look at the difference in color. So this they all they were all kind of tarnished and they sort of tarnish over time. So I took some of this brass and copper polish and I took a, an old toothbrush and I scrubbed it with it and look at the difference. So you can bring your brass back to life this way. I'll see if I can find, I think I got it on Amazon. I'll see if I can find it for you and I'll post a link down below. Um, but it just, just brings back the color in certain, in, in your brass or copper clasps. So I think that's great. Um, stop bead, size 10 beading needle. Um, I'm using 8 pound Fireline Black Satin. Again, don't forget about Ringberry's Mat, 10% off discount code, link below. Um, no More Oops Bead Tray, link below. <laughs> All sizes, colors, shapes, places, amounts, places to purchase beads are down, is down below in the description box. Click the down arrow or the show more. The box will open and all that great info is there and anything else I think of. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to clear this off. We're going to get started. Okay, let's get started. So thread your needle with about three feet of thread. I've made the thread a little bit longer than... Um, than I would normally for this bezel because I want to use it to do maybe the stitch in the ditch and maybe even have a little left over to attach the pieces. So I put I made it a little bit longer. So put on a stop bead about in the center and you're going to pick up alternating colors of red and gold or whatever colors you're using until you have 30 beads on. So you'll have you'll end up with 15 of the red and 15 of the gold or whatever color you're using. So you need 30 beads, or if you're using all one color, just 30 um, of your Ico beads, or if you're using Delicas, 30 Delicas. Okay, I'm going to sew those into a circle by sewing through the first bead after my stop bead. Like that. This is what I have. Now because I'm alternating colors, I'm going to pick up a gold bead, and I'm exiting exiting this red bead. So if I pick up a gold, all I have to do is sew through the next red. So we're skipping a bead, sewing through the next bead. Let me just pop that in. And that's what I sew. So it's that gold one on top of the other gold one. So if you, you know, if you're alternating colors, it's so simple. Just sew through every red bead like that. If you're doing all one color, you're just going to pick up a bead, skip the next bead, sew through the following bead. You know, just your regular standard peyote bezel. Make sure they sit on top of the previous previous bead. So you're just going to do this all the way around until you get to the end, and then we'll step up together. Okay, coming down to the end, so I'm picking up my last gold bead, and I'm going to, I'm exiting the red one, I'm going to skip this gold one, I'm going to sew through this red one, and then that gold one on the diagonal, that's the first bead we put on. So this is going to step us up. like that. Okay, you want to pull it and make sure that it's popping up on the previous bead. Sometimes you have to help it a little bit. It's like that. All right, so now what you're going to do is pick up a 15-0 and you're going to sew, pick up, you're going to sew a 15-0 through every sticking out bead. So 15-0 here. So every sticking out bead, so that's the gold one. Just hold it with your thumb. You don't have to worry about it curving too much at the moment. It's going to start curving on its own, and we're going to um, 
make it curve even more on the next round. Okay, so put all your 15 O's on and then meet me at the end and we'll step up. Okay, coming down to the end, I have one more 15 O to put on, so I'm exiting this gold 11 O. I'm just going to sew through this one, or the gold Ico, and sew through the, the, gold, the next gold one, and then the little 15 O on the diagonal. So that's stepping me up, and this is what it looks like. See how it's starting to curve? All right, so now what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to give it a little pull, not pulling it, you know, super tight. I'm just pulling it so it sort of goes into a circle. And then I'm going to hold it on my finger. I find this is the best way with these really small bezels to do this. So I'm going to hold it on my my little um, pointer finger and I'm going to pick up a 15 -0 and sew, a sew through every sticking out 15 -0. And as I do that, it's going to really pull the bezel in. And again, you don't want this like so tight that you know you're going to make your beads go a lot of shape. You just want to do a nice even tension all the way around. Like that. And you see as I pull it, it's starting to pull in. Just keep going. Like that. So just one fifteen out through every sticking out. Fifteen out as I pull it to see how it's sort of pulling it into shape of a bezel. Alright, so do that and then meet me at the end and we'll step up. Okay, I'm coming down to the end so I have a couple more beads to put on. So here I'm just sewing through my next sticking out 15 out. And you see how it's starting to curve inward? Like it looks like a bezel. And now I'm going to step up. So you're just going to sew through this 15 out and then the one on the diagonal. And that's going to step you up. So I'm just going to let you get to this point, and then we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So I'm just going to leave that thread for now. We'll get back to it. Um, and, and I'm going to take my stop bead off, so I've done that. And I'm going to thread that, uh, thread a needle. And at this point, you'll be exiting this red Ico bead here. I'm just going to sew right through this gold one. I just want to get to the outside circle, so I want to get out here so I can put more beads on, so I'm just going to sew through this guy. See what happens when I do that? That's what it looks like. I'm going to pop my stone and It's not going to stay. I just want to see how we're looking, and then I'm going to give it a pull. That looks pretty good. Wow, the color is amazing, isn't it? I just love the depth of those of those uh, Swarovski colors. They're gorgeous. All right, I need to focus. All right, so here we go. We're going to pick up a 15 0. We're going to put a 15 0 in between each sticking out bead. So that's the gold bead right there. So the gold Ico. And you can keep the stone in there or not. I think it's a good idea to keep it in because then you're molding it around the stone. It's not going to stay in until the next round. So here, just sewing, putting a 15 0 every 11 0 and as I turn around I'm just gently turning my piece holding my thumb holding my thumb on it and my middle finger there I'm just oops that's kind of a skinny one and just sewing through every sticking out 11 0 or Ico Delico whichever one you're using like that all right, so just get this done to the end, and then we'll step up, and we'll put on the uh, last round on this side, or you know maybe another round too. It depends on if you know how it looks. All right, so get that done and come on back. Okay, we're back. So I'm going to step up now. So I'm coming out of this the Ico. I'm just going to sew through this one, and then the little 15-0 on the diagonal. Now one reason I keep the back thread loose at this point. It's because if you pull that too tight, it pulls the whole bezel in to the back. Let me back off a teeny bit. Um, so at this point, I can pull the front if I want to, and I could pull the back. So that's why I kind of leave them, you know, a little open right now so I can play with how the bezel is. Because if you pull it too far in the back, it's going to pull all your beads back, and you're going to end up with a lot of 
you know, you may, you may end up with the bezel not coming around, around enough. So I'm trying to keep it as even as possible. So I'm giving it a little pull in here, pull inward, and now I'm going to add another round of 15 O's. So I'm just picking up a 15 O, sewing through the next, sticking out 15 O. So, you know, bezels, as far as, you know, I'm concerned, and I'm not a, you know, an expert, um, they, tension is everything. So if I pull it too tight on one side, it's going to pull all the beads in that direction, and then I'm going to have, you know, it's going to be pulled away from the front of the bezel. You know, and not to say that that's, if you want that, you know, if you want more of your stone to show or, you know, such, but I'm trying to keep it, you know, as even as possible. I like a lot of the stone showing, you know, as much as I can, but you want, you know, you just, so that's, so you just want to keep the tension good all the way around. And that's why, you know, you can pull the back a little bit too, if you want to, because we haven't sewn that thread in. So I'm just going to go all the way around and then I'll meet you at the end. We're back. So we have one more bead to put on. So here I have my last 15 -0. I'm going, I'm exiting this little 15 -0 here. I'm just going to sew through this one and the one on the diagonal going to step me up. I'm going to pull in inward like that and now this bezel could be done. It depends on what you want to do from now on. So here, here's the back, here's the front. If you want to put another round of 15 O's on, then put another round on or you can even put a little charlotte in there if you want a little smaller bead, you know, to cover more of the stone. Depends, however you like it. So go ahead and decide what you're going to do there. Um, finish that, and then you're just going to sew your threads in. And the way you're going to sew your threads in is you're just going to, so exiting the 15-0, I'm just going to sew through this 15-0. I'm going to work my way to the Ico beads or the Delicas on the outside, like that. like that and then I'm going to sew around on the diagonal just like we always do with the bezel to tighten everybody up if need be and don't clip your threads because we'll use that thread and do the same thing on the other side so you're just going to sew that thread in and then you're done with your bezel. So you're going to do that um, three times or four times or five times depending on how many stones you want across the front. So put it on your wrist and see what you think. So I like three here, but if you have a bigger wrist or you want more, you know, you could do five. I think five would be just gorgeous. So it's up to you. You can even do one. You know, it's up to you. So uh, get all your bezels done and then come on back and we'll continue. Okay, just back for a second. So I occasionally I get um, some beaters, especially those of you who are not haven't done a lot of bezels about the stone staying in and it's not tight enough so if your tension is a little bit loose and you're finding that it seems loose to you you can just go around that second that um, the, the the last two rounds of 15 O's so if I'm exiting a 15 I'm just going to sew through this one and the one on the diagonal right there see how I'm sewing just sewing through the same two beads like that and then you can do that again if you can't get them both at the same time do them one at a time like that, and then like that, and like this. See, so you're just going around those last two rounds again, and it's it, it tightens it up a lot. So if you're a little loose and you're having, you know, a little problem that way, if it's not doesn't seem tight enough on the front, just go through all the beads again, and it tightens it up, and it makes it really secure. All right, so get that done and get all your bezels done and then come on back and we'll continue. Okay, we're back and I have my three stones bezeled. So if it bugs you having the threads, extra threads on, you can just, after you've sewn them, you can cut them off and you can start a new thread to um, do your stitch in the ditch and then attach the, the um, bezels together. But I'm just going to use the two threads that I have. So I'm going to start stitch in the ditch. So I'm going to do my stitch in the ditch with 11 OC beads. So, you want to move your thread over to the, this last round of delicas right here. You see the gold ones that are towards the back? 
So wherever you are, wherever your thread is coming out, I'm coming out of this gold one right here, but you might be coming out of another thread. So I'm just going to sew on the diagonal through this red one. And then again through this gold one. It's right before the 15 O's on the back, so I want the stitch in the ditch to be at the bottom. Pick up an 11 O. Just going to sew through the next Delico, Ico, whichever bead you're using. Do that all the way down. Sewing through the next one. That's stitch in the ditch if you're not familiar with it. So you're just putting a little bead right there. So I'm just going to sew through every gold. Uh, Ico or Delica, just like that, all the way around. That's going to give us a pretty little, and I'm pulling a little bit. This gives a pretty little edge. All right, so get that done. Meet me at the end, and I will we'll continue. Okay, coming down to the end, I'm going to put on my last 11 0 and so here I'm exiting the the Delica or the Ico. Here I'm just going to sew through this one, and that's going to put on my last one. And I'm going to give it a nice snug pull. Make sure everybody's nice and snug on there, just like that. And now, what's very important at this point is that you sew this thread in really well because we're going to be attaching the units, the, you know, the bezels together using these the um, stitch in the ditch beads. So you want to make sure you're nice and, you know, that you've sewn this in really snugly. So I'm exiting this Ico bead right here. I'm going to sew through this one on the diagonal. So I'm going to go all the way around the bezel again. And I'm going to sew these really, really make sure this is snug by sewing just on the diagonal all the way around, like that, like that. And then um, once you've sewn all the way around, I want you to reverse direction. So here, let's say I'm at the end here and I'm sewing through one of these, this 11 -0 here, I want you to go through this one that's next to it. I know it's going to be tough to get through. You might need a size 12 beading needle here. Then you're going to sew like that, and that's going to lock them all into place. So now they're they're not going to go anywhere. I mean, they they might move a little bit, but they're not going anywhere. So you don't have to worry about the um, you know your connections. All right. So get that done on all three of your bezels, and then meet me back here, and we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So I have my three bezels done, and clearly I went on because I wanted you to see the sort of continuity of it. So we're going to connect two of the bezels right now. So whichever bezel you have a thread coming out of, it doesn't matter if you connect it this way or this way. I just happen to have a thread coming out of this one, so I'm going to go this way. So we're going to pick three beads on the side of the bezel. Let me pull and show you very closely to connect to. So I'm going to use this one, this one, and this one. So these three on this side, and I'm going to connect to this one, this one, and this one. And that kind of gives me a nice center. Don't worry if, it, like, don't count your beads because, you know, the bezel is not, you know, the beads are going to be slightly different sized, you know, slightly different angles. Just eyeball what looks most even and what looks best. So these three here and these three here are going to go together. And you may start it and say, okay, I don't like it, and you have to take it out. So, you know, just, you know, take your time with it and just make sure that they're all um, pretty much, you know, even, you know, by eye. So if you want to be exiting the top third of the three on, on one of the bezels, so this one, it's going to be right here. So one, two, three. Here's my top one, and my thread's coming out in that direction. So if you're not there, just move your thread around until you get there, because we've done that already. So just, you know, sew through the beads until you can come out of that little stitch in the ditch um, bead right there. The top one of the three on that side. I'm going to pick up an 11 0. I'm going to sew through the top one of, of the three on the other side, like that. I'll leave it loose. I'm going to pick up a three millimeter pearl. I'm going to sew through the next bead on this side. So the next one of the three. I'm going to pick up another 11 -0. I'm going to sew through the next, the last one of those three on that side that I'm using. Like that. Okay, actually, maybe stop there and just get to that point. Okay, so I'm exiting this bottom 11 -0. I'm going to pick up an 11 -0. 
I'm going to try to keep it on the mat as long as possible. I'm going to sew up through the third one on this bezel. Like that. So do you see how I have that little connection going? But now I have to connect the pearls, so I have to actually pick it up now. I have to I want to connect the pearls and the eleven O's. So I'm going to just back off a teeny bit. Alright, so I'm exiting this bottom. This is number three bead. I'm just going to sew up through the pearl on this side. Like that. And then I'm going to sew up through this 11-0. Like that. And then I'm going to sew up through the pearl. Like that. So I'm kind of zigzagging. And then up through this 11 -0. Like that. So you see my little zigzag? And then you can just be pulling it tight at this point. And I'm going to pull it tight and see how I'm connected. All right, so now I just want to sort of connect a little bit more on this side. So I'm exiting this 11 -0. I'm just going to come across to this top one. And I'm going to come down this one. And then I want to come down this pearl, come down this 11 -0. just giving it a little bit of a pull in. See how that pulled it in? This pearl, like that, and then the 11 -0 on this side, and it will start to kind of curve. Oops. Don't get caught. I got my thread caught around, so let me pull that out. There we go. So it'll start to curve inward, which is nice because it's nice to have a little curve. Just pull out a touch. Okay, so I'm exiting the 11 0 on this side. I'm just going to sew through this one again and back up through this one. And at this point, you can. You can go back, if you want to go back through the pearls again, like if you want to really reinforce this and the 11 -0, so pearl, 11 -0, pearl, 11 -0, to give it a nice, you know, snug connection. There you go, you've got it. So at this point, you want to just sew your thread in. So I'm exiting this 11 -0. I'm just going to pop over to this Delica. It's right next to it, right there. And if you need to switch to a size 12 beading needle, do that. So far I'm good. And I'm going to do this one on the diagonal. And I'm going to do my normal sew in. I'm going to just sew around a little bit. Reverse direction to lock in my beads, like that. And now I have my connection. So pretty nice, huh? So that came out good. So get your connection done, and then meet, you know for the two the two connections in the middle, and then meet me back here, and we'll start on the band. Okay, we're back, so we're getting there. So we're going to work on the band now. So let's do one side. So we're going to thread your needle with about four feet of thread. Put on a stop, and leave about ten to twelve inch tail. I'm going to pick up eight of my eleven O seed beads. I'm going to do a little right angle weave netting here. So I'm picking up eight of my 11 0 seed beads. I'm going to drop those down. Now I'm not going to go through teaching you right angle weave because you've, you know, netting, we've done this a lot. I'll link some um, videos down in the description box if you need a little primer. But we're just going to sew these into a circle. I'll get you started. So I'm going to sew through the first two beads after my stop bead. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to sew down through these two. It's my first unit. So I have two beads here, two here, two here, and two here. Actually, let's go one more. Like that, just to get away from the stop bead a little bit. Okay. This is what I have. I'm going to pick up six 11 O's. Exiting this bead here. Let me pull in a little bit. So you know, each two these each of these two 11 O's, they they have like one bead. So I'm exiting this group of two. 
I'm going to sew through the other side like that to put another unit on. There. I'm going to sew through the two bottom beads. And the two side beads. Like that. And when I straighten my beads out, if I just go like this, you can see that I have two little boxes on. Okay, let's do that one more time. Six beads. Exiting here. So through the other side of the group of two right there to put on another box. Sew through the two on the top. And the two on the side. And you're ready to put another unit on. So you're just going to repeat that until you have ten boxes on. Now my bracelet, I'm going to measure it right now, is out with my clasp is about six let me move it this way a little bit S almost seven it's about six and seven eighths or so six and three quarters something like that so it's close to being seven inches so ten boxes on each side plus my clasp is going to give me that size bracelet okay so Get your 10 boxes done, and then we're going to turn around and put 10 more in the opposite direction to give it a double, you know, so we can have this, like, double right angle weave, um, so we can add the pearls, you know, the two rows of pearls on. All right, so get your 10 boxes, or how many boxes you need um, to fit around your wrist. You have to take into consideration the size of your clasp. You can always um, add some more beads at the end of the clasp if, you, if it's too small you know, if it's too short. So, um, you know, just kind of figure out what's the right size for you. So this is, like I said, almost seven inches. Um, it's going to take 10 boxes on each side. All right, so I'm going to get my 10 boxes done, come back, and we'll turn around and do 10 more. Okay, we're back. So I have my 10 boxes on. So now we're going to go back up this way to add 10 more boxes, attach 10 more boxes so we can do this double pearl embellishment. So the, what we're going to connect to are these two outside beads on each box. See these two? Two here, two here, two here. I kind of pulled them out a little bit. Two here, two here, 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 and here. All right. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to do everything on right angles. So I'm exiting this bottom 11 over right here. It's going to sew through these two. I'm going to pick up six of my 11 O's. And so through the other side of those two. Like that. And I can't go straight up because this is right angle weave. I'm going to go in this direction. I'm just going to sew through the next two at right at the right angle right there. See that? Okay. So I have one box on. I'm going to pick up four beads. So I want to make another box. So the beads I'm going to use, remember I told you I had to connect, I'm going to only going to be connecting to these two on the top of each box here. So exiting these two, I'm going to go through these two. So these I have four beads already here waiting for me. So I'm just going to pick up four. I'm going to sew down through these two. I know, I told you I wasn't going to teach a right angle weave, but I'm <laughs> going a little slow, so. All right, so just going down those two, like that. That puts another box on, but I need to get back up here so I can add another box. So I have to do it at right angles. So I'm exiting this guy right here. I'm just going to go through these two, right here. So just weaving around this box that I put on. And then these two, so the two on each side, like that. These two, so just made my way around the box at right angles so that I'm keeping everything right angle weave. And then up these two, 
So you see how there's no thread showing here now. I'm, I'm so I'm exiting where I need to be put, put another box on. I have this side of the box and this side of the box. Pick up four. Your eleven O's. So through this one, or these two, like that. I have another box on. Go up these two. And again, I can't go straight up, so I have to go at a right angle. So through these two. Like that. I'm ready to put another box on, so I'm going to be using... Let me straighten these out. These two. And the two I'm exiting here and here. Two sides right there. Two corners. Pick up four beads. Like that. Exiting here, I'm going to sew through these two. Got another box on, but now I have to get up here again. So I'm going to sew at a right angle through these two. Another right angle through these two. Another right angle this way through these two. So just one around the box I just put on. And then back up, or then up these two like that. So you see again, I have no thread showing. I just have, you see there's no thread showing in through any of these beads here. So now I have, I'm, you know, where I can put some more beads on. So I have these two and these two. So I need another box right here. I'll put this last one on with you and then I'll let you go off on your own. So pick up four. Exiting here. I'm going to sew through these two. Making a right turn through these two. Making another right turn through these two. Now I'm ready to put another box on and so on. So you're just going to repeat that all the way to the end. So maybe down at the end and then we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So here's my entire piece. Now we're going to, so I'm here exiting. I put on my last box, so I'm exiting here. I'm just going to sew up through these two. So, so I'm coming out the end two, like that, and then I'm going to get my four millimeter pearls, and we're going to add the pearls. Oops. Okay, so let's pop those out. So, exiting here, I'm just going to pick up a four millimeter pearl. So my thread is coming out of the top be two beads right here. I'm going to go through the bottom two, just directly across. So up through the bottom, okay? So I'm exiting the top of these two. I'm just going to sew through the bottom this way of those two. And that sort of puts it on diagonally and sets the pearl in place. So when I give it a little pull, that's what it looks like. I'm going to pick up another pearl, 4 millimeter pearl. Again, exiting the top here. Just going to sew up through the from the bottom. So through these two from the bottom of the next to get the next pearl on. Okay, just like that. Do it again. Pick up a pearl, exiting these two. I'm going to sew up through these two. Okay, and then as you as you keep putting them on and tighten them, they're going to, you know, they'll all sit nicely and it takes a little while. So then go all the way to the end and then meet me at the, meet me at the end and I'll turn around and we'll go back. I'm almost done with this side. So here I'm I'm exiting again the top two, these two, the top of these two. I'm just going to go through these, the bottom, up through the bottom. I'm going to go through these two. Like that. When I pull, that's going to sit that pearl. Make sure you're, you're giving them a little pull inward. Like that, so that they're all sitting nicely, and we'll, you know, we'll straighten them out as we go. So I'm exiting this two, these two here. I'm going to sew through these two. So that's the two beads, top beads or bottom beads of the previous unit, or top beads of this unit. All right, like that. I'm going to sew down these two. Just putting my needle. I'm sewing a, around the box 
to get my needle into position to put more beads on. I'm going to sew through the two bottom beads. That never hurts. All this reinforcing never hurts. <laughs> it's always good. And then these two. So I want to come out of these two beads. So now I'm exiting the top of this one. I'm going to pick up a pearl. I'm going to go through the bottom two on the other side. Pick up a pearl, do the same exact thing we did before. You're just going to be going through the bottom and up, and you want to make sure you're giving them a little press to make sure they're all sitting nicely. See? Again, exiting these to the top of these two, sewing through these two. Okay. So you're going to do that all the way down to the end, making sure everybody's nice and straight, and then meet me at the end and we'll continue. Okay, coming down to the end. So here's my last pearl. So I'm exiting these two right here, top there. I'm going to go through the, up through the bottom on the end. So I still have that uh, other thread hanging out there, which is fine. I want to keep that thread. All right, so now I'm all set. So I'm going to turn on this side, and here's my, my thread, my working thread. I'm going to sew down through this guy, these two. I want to secure the top, all right? So see, I'm going to kind of secure that, all right? And then what you can do, which I like to do, is being that I have a thread here and I have this thread, I'm going to sew this thread. I'm going to reinforce all the way down. So I'm just going to go... through this one, through these two. You know, just work your way around the units. You know, you can kind of, you know, just do one side, do both sides. Um, I'm just kind of doing a little, you know, just to reinforce a little bit. And it's moving my thread. And I like the way it gives it, it makes it nice and rigid because this um, particular bracelet has three stones on the front, you want to make sure the band isn't flimsy. And this is going to help, and it's going to move my thread all the way down to the end here. So I'm just going to do this all the way down. And I'm, you know, I'm not actually going in any particular pattern. I'm just staying at right angles just to kind of, you know, or any, you know, I'm staying in my right angle thread path like that. Like that. Just moving this thread down. And like that. Okay. And that's actually, that's kind of, um, that's nice and sturdy. So just do that all the way down and then meet me at the end and we'll continue. Okay, I'm down at the end and I'm just going to move my needle through here and that really made it nice and straight and nice and sturdy. So all I'm going to do is pick up an 11-0 and I'm going to sew through the next two. So I'm just sitting an 11-0 right there. Then I'm going to put one end of my clasp on. So because I have the other part already on, I'll just put this side. It's the same, goes on the same way. 11-0. Go through one loop of my clasp, one ring. If your rings aren't sitting in the right direction, all you have to do is put a little jump ring on, three or four millimeter, and that way it will be in the direction you want. Okay? I'm going to pick up an 11 0, a three millimeter, three millimeter pearl, and an 11 0, going through the second ring. Or whatever clasp you're putting on, you can, you know, do whatever you like here. But I like this little box, box clasp. Picking up an 11 0, just sewing right through this line of beads like that. Then I'm just going to reinforce all the beads by going through everybody. Like that. Back around. And you can do this as many times as you like till it feels nice and secure. And then come on back and we'll just, we'll connect the last part and we'll be done. All right, seeing a few. Okay, we're almost done. <laughs> Very excited. All right, so now we're going to connect the band to the the bezel. So I'm going to put my band next to my bezel. I'm going to find a spot again where I can connect. So I'm exiting 
this, the, this, my thread is coming out right here to this second bead here. So I want to connect about right there. I think that's going to be good. So I'm going to pick up an 11 -0. I'm going to sew through this one. I'm going to pick up a 3 millimeter purl. I'm going to sew through the next one. I'm going to pick up an 11 -0. I'm going to sew through these two right here. So just going around in a circle like I like we've been doing. Then you want to go down the purl. And then you want to go across to these 11 O's. So just again kind of zigzagging to get that purl into place. Like that. Going back up. These two. Through this purl. Back through these two. And through these two again. Okay. And then you're going to you're going to um, sew in your threads, and then come on back, and we'll finish up. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, here you go. Here are our bracelets. So I think they came out great. I love, love, love the the scarlet color. So pretty, really nice. Of course, I have to sew my thread in. Love the aqua as well. Just really pretty. I think very wearable for those of you who don't want a huge, huge bracelet, but it's still a nice little statement piece. I'm thinking of a necklace, um, earrings or ring. I'm not sure. Um, I'll see as I, you know, sort of go on with it. You know, there might be another piece or two coming. All right, so take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.